All right, guys, it's part five of the hot rod build. And in the last episode, you saw me fit the motor and the batteries and all the electrics. And I got the back axle turning by pressing the accelerator. So in this episode, I'm going to final fit the accelerator and the brake pedal. And then I'm going to finish off all the steering. So while I'm doing all that, the first thing I'm going to do is make a steering wheel. And while the glue's drying, I can be fitting the accelerator pedal, fitting the brake pedal and getting all the steering put in position. So with that said, let's get making. Did I just say I was going to make a steering wheel before I did all that? Well, as usual, I, kept, I just got sidetracked. Um, so, luckily, it's the weekend. So, tomorrow, I can make my steering wheel. And I'm going to do that first. Um, so, the last thing I'm going to do today is these extended nuts. I'm going to weld a nut onto the end of them. And them can go onto the steering bracket. So, I'm going to get that done. And then I'm going to have a beer. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Or you'll catch me in a few seconds. Or it doesn't matter. I'm going to have a beer. Catch you later. Hey Dennis. I think even you'd be happy with that. Today I'm going to start by making the steering wheel. I'm going to make it out of these two pieces of wood uh, one with the grain going across and one with the grain going down that way when I glue one on top of the other it'll give it that extra strength that's needed While the glue's drying on the steering wheel, I'm going to make all the pieces for the steering column and the steering mechanism. And then I can weld it all in position. And hopefully by the time that's done, uh, the glue will be dry and I can finish the steering wheel off. Yesterday, just as I thought I'd finished, I came across another problem. What was the problem? Well, 
When I built the Batmobile, I built exactly the same system as this, with the threaded bar and this piece, which when you turn the steering, it pushes and pulls on both of these, one the left and the right. But the Batmobile, the steering was central. On this, this is a left hand drive, which means this one is a lot longer than the other one. And to cut a long story short, the short bar, every time I turned the wheel, the short bar was fouling. So I had to come up with a new way of doing things. So what I've done is I've put this bar directly to the steering and then I've just connected the two steering bars with a push-pull rod. So now the steering works absolutely fantastic. I'm dead pleased with that. That's caused another problem as usual. This piece now is going to foul on the wooden subframe. So what I've got to do is take everything off, put the wooden subframe on, see where it fouls, make a cutout and then reinforce the wooden subframe. And once that's done, I can start building the bodywork. What a good do. Well that's turned out better than I expected. I thought I might have to take um, a piece out of this wooden subframe but instead I've just rounded off the end of this and now totally clear. Fantastic. Well now I've got to strip it all down again so I can finish off the black under seal on the metal subframe and paint the front of the wooden subframe. Well I think I'm going to do it red. All right. What does it matter? Let's get it done. Now that all the glue's dry on the steering wheel, I've got myself a washer, drilled three holes in it, welded a nut onto the back, I'm just going to put a little recess in here and then screw this to the back of the to the back of the steering wheel with three little screws. And that way I can put the threaded bar onto here and lock it on with another nut. All I have to do now is cut the rest of the steering wheel out.
before I mount the body back on the frame, it's going to be a lot easier if I shape the rest of the body and cut out all the door panels. So I've made myself a little template and that's what I'm going to do now. Well guys, I've built it all back up, I've um, fitted all the steering, I've greased all the nuts and the bolts and it's absolutely smooth. Look at this, with two fingers, absolutely smooth. It's the best steering I've ever made, it's fantastic. Now I did say by the end of this episode we'll be giving it a test run, but we're in coronavirus lockdown again and nobody can come visiting, so we're going to have to put the test off, but it does actually run. It actually, it's ready for testing now. So let's turn on the ignition. Give it a little press and see how it goes. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> That's fantastic. I can't wait to get this on the road. It's going to be one hot, hot rod. Well guys, four weeks ago, this was just a drawing on a bit of paper and today you saw me switch it on, press the accelerator and it drives. Okay, it's not on the road, but you've seen it drive four weeks. I'm dead happy, which means all I have to do now is make it look good. If you don't want to miss out, subscribe to my channel. It's only going to get better. Catch you next time, guys.